New alt arts are in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Hello guys and welcome back to another cold episode. On today's episode, we're taking a look at Live Twin Sprite with the new uh, alt arts. Well, more specifically, only one. I only got Lilla and I'm not gonna try and pull for the other one because I don't care enough. But I did want to revisit Live Twin Sprite with the new alt arts just to give you another look at how good this deck is. Uh, or how bad it is, dependent. <clears throat> so if you don't know, Live Twin Sprite they're twos. That's the gimmick. There are They are twos that do stuff, therefore throw sprite in them. Uh, that's pretty much the whole idea, and with the uh, with the XYZ link event coming up, um, you could also play that for this. So there you go. Let's, let's just hop right in. Uh, now it's pretty simple. It is hand traps and a very minimalistic board. That is generally what works with Live Twin. Uh, and more specifically, Live Twin Sprite. So we're gonna go over the uh, the Live Twin monsters. If you don't know what they do, each Live Twin uh, normal monster, or, or uh, the original, I, I don't know, the like non-holiday artworks, uh, they can summon another one of the opposite on normal or special if you control no other monsters. So generally the idea is you normal summon one of these and then you special summon either the holiday uh, version of the other one or sometimes if you already have the holiday version, you summon out the regular. That's generally what they do, and that's pretty much their only effect. And the fact that they are twos is enough to facilitate the sprites. Now, both Treat and Frost can special summon themselves if you control, uh, similar to how the sprites work, if you control the opposite. So for example, if I have Kiss a Kill, I can special summon Treat. If I have Lilla, I can special summon Frost. So we're playing one piece of each so that we can search them off of Sunny Snitch. Now, Sunny Snitch just says when this is activated, you can add a live twin monster from your deck to your hand. That's pretty much it. Now, you can, uh, it also like does stuff with uh, attack points or uh, life points. It's negligible. Uh, it has never come up for me. However, you can also play Secret Password as well to thin the deck even more. All it does is it adds uh, Sunny Snitch to your hand. That's it. Realistically, Obviously, it's a UR, so I don't want to play it, but realistically, even with that being said, I don't think it's all that worthwhile, and the reason being is because I'd rather just play, especially with more sprites being available, I'd rather just play the sprites or additional hand traps. So that's generally what we're doing. And that's pretty much it for the live twin stuff. As for the sprite stuff, it's pretty simple. Two blue, two jet, one a piece of red and carrot, the one smashers, the one gamma burst, and of course, the three starter. And uh, yeah, Starter Newly Unlimited has been very, very helpful, especially to help kind of like play around Maxi. It doesn't really work because most of the time, if the opponent Maxis and, and then you have to activate Starter, you're probably dead anyway, but alas. <clears throat> and then the rest of our cards are just non-engine. Three Maxi, three Ash Blossom, three Infip, because these are the best ones. We're playing two Effect Veiler. The only reason I'm playing two as opposed to three is because I wanted to specifically fit in a Ghost Bell and a Ghost Ogre as additional ways for cross out uh, for cross out, as well as additional ways to like interact with the opponent, not during the main phase because of Tenpai. But I do think Valor is very, very strong right now. Uh, and then we're playing two called by and the two triple attack, as well as the one cross out. And that's it for the 40 card list. Very nice and clean. I wouldn't play over 40 here with the live twin version because you very specifically want to see these guys in particular. Uh, so there's that. Oh, we are playing one EMP Meow Mine as well. It's pretty decent, just a free special summon while also potentially giving you additional um, uh, removal and stuff like that. <clears throat> it's okay, but it's mostly just an additional body. As for the extra deck, we are playing one Mannequin Cat, one o Onibimaru Soul Sweeper, and one Gigantic Sprite as our twos, as well as one OTK option in Gigantic uh, Shadow Mosquito, as well as a two option in case we're two blocked. Um, so there's that. Uh, but to be fair, the extra deck, uh, th there are a few flex spots. Dear Lanta, I can't talk. Uh, this is one of them. This could be any other like OTK enabler style card. Uh, I, I just chose Shadow Mosquito. Honestly, I don't think this card's all that great in Sprite. Uh, it works a little bit better with the um, this stuff, but potentially playing an additional Fiend or something along those lines to go into might be a little bit more useful. Uh, anyway, as for the rest of the cards, we're also playing IP Mascarena. I use the alt art. Uh, we're also playing two a piece of Lilla as, or sorry, two a piece of Kizakil as well as two a piece of Lilla. And here's the new alt art, as you saw earlier. It's also been nerfed. This uh, originally wasn't covered, but now it is. Same thing with the uh, with the Lilla. 
or the kiss scale if you see uh, this this part also is now covered heaven forbid uh, I think it doesn't really matter and, but alas I thought I'd let you know anyway uh, we're also playing two elf the one sprint the one SP uh, a trouble sunny now oh I just realized I didn't actually tell you what the the live twins do uh, live twins they can special summon the other one if it is not already on the field um, and that's any kiss a kill and or Lilla so for example you can summon either the live twin or the evil twin of the corresponding color um, and when they are special summoned while you control the other one you get an effect so kiss a kill gets the ability to draw a card and Lilla gets to pop a card so the general idea is that you go uh, you go through Lilla into kiss a kill kiss a kill into sorry kiss a kill bring back a Lilla from grave so you use these two into kiss a kill kiss a kill bring back this one from grave then you go into the Lilla. Lilla then brings back this one. You draw a card, and then you link off both of these into another kiss a kill to then bring back the Lilla to pop a card on the opponent's turn. Make sense? Makes sense. So you basically draw a card, and then you have a, an additional pop. It's not great, but it does allow you to like draw into hand traps. So it's not like an insanely strong end board, but hopefully with the help of additional hand traps and some of the sprite cards, it does kind of facilitate uh, uh enough right that's the general idea also notably if you use the effect it's only during main phase uh the effect to revive it's only during the main phase and it locks you into fiends for the rest of the turn so do keep that in mind that's why i brought up the fiends earlier anyway uh we're also playing trouble sunny which just says quick effect you can uh, attribute this card in order to special summon a kiss a kill monster and a little monster from your grave and you can banish it in order to send an evil twin from hand to deck or grave uh or face up field to the grave to send uh, a card on the field to the grave. Now, notably, you can send this guy, which also has the ability to special summon itself from grave. So that's an option. I decided not to play it because I don't want to play bricks because I know I would draw them and it would be really bad. And that is just a hard brick. We don't want to see it. Um, so there's that. But you can still do that. It's it's fairly decent. It's another like send. But this is just a way to uh, enable an OTK. You go into the link four, you attack with this, you tribute off, and then you special summon the other two and you attack and hopefully the sprites uh, or like Gamma Burst can help you OTK. So that's another option, which is why I don't think Ninja Mosquito is too necessary. The other option I just put in Underworld Goddess. That's pretty much it. Let's hop into the replays and show you how this deck performed. All right, so here we are going second. And uh, the main reason for this, well, I should say, I, I don't actually think that most of these duels are going to be very interesting. Most of the duels I had were very like bland. And the main reason for this is because your game plan is to not really play the game through hand traps, to basically force your opponents to not interact. Uh, and so not only do you die to hand traps yourself, you also are kind of focusing on like make not really making a board or like interacting in interesting ways. It's kind of just like stop, you violated the law kind of games. Um, so there's that. But I did have a few. My opponent actually does call the correct card and, and hits the Lilla. Uh, I think that is definitely the correct one. Um, but there you go. My opponent goes for the the, the DPE here. I grab Valor, which is kind of funny. Uh, and then they also go for the Malicious here, which ends up grabbing me a called by, uh, which is not exactly great, but it's not terrible. <clears throat> and we draw Ash Blossom for a turn, which is very funny. As you can see, lots of hand traps. Uh, my opponent is going to go for the Mask Change here in order to go for the... Um, uh, what's call it? And... I decide to not actually search here because if you don't know, this says when this card is activated, you can add a card. So I activated it. They went for the chain and I just decided not to search. And the main reason for this is because if they eat my kiss a kill and I search something else, uh, I do end up just dying. So yeah, I could have potentially searched like a second Lilla, uh, but I I don't know. It, hindsight's twenty twenty. I. It, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what I was going for here. Anyway, we go for the Lilla here. We bring out the Frost, uh, or the Treat. My opponent decides to pop here. I'm like, that's fine. We go for the Red here, and we summon out the uh, Gigantic. Uh, at this point, they don't really have anything. There's not really anything I'm worried about because of the called by. So we get to go for the full Sprite combo. So we go grab up Jet here. And then my opponent activates the, uh, the effect of the Dark Law. And this is why I was like, oh, yeah, I should have just done the search there. Uh, but, you know, hindsight's 20-20. Realistically, I probably... Uh, Probably should have. Anyway, they, they miss, luckily. So we get to go for the uh, starter here. And I'm going to go for the Onibimaru and just banish the uh, uh, the DPE until the end phase of the opponent's next turn, uh, which is pretty nice. Just get it out of there. And now we can walk over the Dark Law with the Onibimaru. 
So there's that. We're gonna go also for the carrot just to get a little bit more damage in. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> we also have red underneath, so couldn't have gone for red. And blue and jet had both been used. Uh, I bring back Lilla just because I can. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go for the SP here. Uh, we're gonna activate the effect of the SP, banishing the malicious. Yes, I have called by, but realistically, I don't want to like have to call by the malicious here. <clears throat> Anyway, my opponent has the Heavy Storm, and I just forget to use Called By. I don't I don't know why I don't Called By the uh, the Denier there. I absolutely should have, but I just didn't. Uh, and then I didn't activate anything else, so they just concede. Maxi, woo! All right, here we are going first, once again. Uh, once again? <laughs> anyway, uh, we have a pretty good hand. Triple Attack makes this a uh, lot stronger. They're going to go for the Maxi. I'm like, okay, that's fine. We're going to go for the starter here. We're going to summon out the red. I wish I could have checked what my opponent had here, but alas, it was nothing. Whoa. Yeah, so we get a Triple Attack and just look at this godlike hand from my opponent. Uh, so we shuffle away the only possible card that could do anything there and just hope and pray that my opponent doesn't draw into anything usable here. Um, they just set one, which is kind of interesting. I don't know why, because... Reminder, the cards in hand, it, it doesn't show you, the cards in hand were Cross Out, Called By, Imperm. And then the uh, the the quick play for the Fire Kings. So they have four settable cards in their hand. One of them, realistically, probably shouldn't set. The other three, absolutely. There's no reason to not set them. Uh, I get like the ideas like, oh, but what if they have like Heavy Storm or Lightning uh, uh, or um, the Harpy's Feather Duster or something like that. And it's like, yes, I get that. But realistically, at this point, there's not really a whole lot that you can do. I know this is called by. I know for a fact that this is called by because there's no world in which this is not called by. They would have absolutely kept the imperm in hand and been like, I'm just going to wait for them to play into the called by and then I just called by. Uh, I don't have a target for the called by, by the way. So this is really a weird and bad, just bad, bad play. <laughs> Not really that big of a deal, though, just given the fact that they don't have anything. So I just get to go for the Gigantic Sprite, freely uninterrupted. And then out comes the Elf. I'm going to special summon out here again with the uh, the hard-drawn, what, what was it, the Treat. Uh, and then we make the Lilla. Here I'm going to go for the Smashers to force out the Called By, which is exactly what I wanted. Uh, I'm actually going to Reborn here with the Lilla, as well as Reborn again with the Elf. So we're going to bring back the Treat as well as the Frost, which is kind of funny. Uh, and then I'm going to Smashers and just banish a guy because I can. <clears throat> and then out comes the kiss -a kill and we're going to activate its effect in order to bring back the Lilla, and then just attack. I should have gone Game of Earth. The, the fact that I didn't is... Uh, oops. Because now I don't have lethal. So, uh... Whoops. That's fine. I just end on the kiss -a kill and... Uh, I know that they don't really have a whole lot. They have, like, Imperm and, and stuff like that. So, uh, there were two unknowns. Those two unknowns could have been something, but alas... It wasn't, so, um, good game. All right, here we are, once again, going first. And, uh, yeah, our hand, again, once is, uh, you know, pretty good with the triple attack, and you love to see it. Um, and, uh, well, you hate to see that, don't you? <clears throat> so I'm immediately going to fire off this uh, triple attack and just open. Oh, okay, well, now they're down two cards. So I just grab Lilla here uh, with the treat and then reveal the hand, and that was Pydra called by, no, not called by, uh, droplet and imperm. So, um, yeah, that's another hand trap. Uh, I'm literally just going to pass here and be like, don't top deck full combo and uh, we should be okay. They don't. They set a card. And I'm like, okay, cool. This game's over. Uh, there's not really anything for them to do. Uh, I would imagine this is set droplet. It could be cross out or uh, in infip, but uh, yeah, they droplet here. Uh, I normal summon. I go for the gigantic sprite. And I'm like, cool. This should be up. They top decked a second imperm and they just held it. As opposed to setting two Imperms, they were like, no, no, I want to set Droplet so that I have no cards in hand. Ten by players, ladies and gentlemen. I don't, I don't, I kind of understand the idea, but at that point, just set the Imperm. Just, I, I, I yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Anyway, um, I, I just need them to whiff another draw step uh, or a draw step that plays into either Called By or uh, Ghost Bell which there aren't many, but there are a few, right? Like Genroku would have done it. So uh, anyway, we just go with the gigantic sprite and then, yeah, that's, that's it. Okay, drawing Imperm there was actually pretty good. 
Bonus replay time. We're going first. Hooray! You love to see it. Uh, so we're gonna start off here with the sunny snitch. We're gonna activate its effect. We're gonna grab up the frost. We're gonna then activate droll. Uh, okay, droll makes things a little bit sticky, but it should be okay. Uh, also, who the heck is playing droll right now? Droll feels really bad, but okay. Anyway, we go for gigantic into carrot just because I'm a little bit more scared of like spells and traps. Most of it'll be because of tenpai and. I also have Maxi and Ash, so I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable with dealing with, like, monsters and stuff like that, just in general. Uh, but realistically, I think Carrot's just more better overall. Uh, we go for the Lilla. I'm going to Reborn the Kiss Kill as well, and then go into the Kiss Kill uh, so that Lilla is alive. Since there was no reason for me to draw a card, since it wouldn't have done anything, we go for this line instead and just put the least amount of materials into the grave. <clears throat> so that's it. Uh, my opponent is going to banish six in order to get Ash, and I go... <laughs> Mega lol. Uh, here I just fire the maxi, and then I'm also going to bring back the uh, carrot here, since we already activated our. Um, uh, since we already activated something during the main phase, I felt comfortable doing that, so just to kind of like play around uh, maxi and stuff. Or uh, not maxi, um, called by. Turns out it was lab, so that maxi was just useless, but it's fine. Uh, we're going to bring back a guy, which ends up being the... Uh, obviously, we're going to bring back Lilla. Lilla Effect is going to actually pop the Lab Lab, because reason being, I'm not really too scared about the three back row. Like, we can very easily play through that, especially with the Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring in hand. They likely have a welcome. So just dealing with the, um, the, the Labyrinth Labyrinth is probably my best option, just overall. Because, <clears throat> like, I could potentially snipe, like, a big welcome or, like, another card that is, you know that they can activate two of uh or uh, that they can only activate one of or something like that that's like a hard one per turn anyway uh outcome strike tricks we're gonna negate that with the carrot turns out carrot was very useful here then we're gonna ash the welcome and then they're gonna go for the ice dragon's prison and banish my elf and like that's fine um they also lose 200 which i don't think ends up that actually it does it does end up mattering uh because i i, I do for this game of burst uh we draw a triple attack which is very funny then we go for the sunny uh and we just attack for lethal here um realistically should not have activated that there i forgot how gamma burst works it's cards you currently control so oopsie poopsie my bad realistically i should have done this now i should have attacked and then just immediately tributed but it, it didn't end up mattering we had the lethal however i was a hundred over so, turns out, that little burn damage that just happened did matter. Hooray. All right, we're back with the deck. And honestly, I don't hate this deck, but I do think it is definitely the weakest of the sprite builds. And it is kind of mid. It's not really all that interesting. It's it's very much so a mid-range deck, which I do enjoy for the most part, right? Um, Tri Brigade is, like, one of my favorite decks of all time. And that is very mid-range, like, activate four cards and then just kind of pass. Um, however, the, the difference is, like, it feels like you're very much so reliant on kind of what cards you draw, rather than actually what you're putting onto the field or what you're doing, which I don't enjoy as much. It feels like you have a lot less agency in what you're doing, um, whereas something like Tri Brigade Sprite, or even, uh, just, like, a pure, more pure variant of Sprite with just, like, a bunch of really good twos, a lot of those kind of give you a little bit more in terms of options right? Uh, because the main game plan here is to get the, the draw with the kiss kill, as well as the pop with the Lilla, and that's kind of just all that you're setting up for with the live twin stuff. There's a few more things that you can do, uh, obviously like putting two bodies onto the field to get you gigantic sprite and all of that jazz, but for the most part, uh, I, I just think it's the weakest of the sprite variants. I still like it. I still think it's fun. I still think it's good. Uh, I think it's a lot more susceptible to max C. I think I probably should have been playing Gamma. Um, yeah, uh, Gamma would have been really, really nice just to play around max C a little bit more. Uh, however, the the issue with that is like if I normal summon a guy and then they max C, it just kind of like doesn't matter. So there's that. I could potentially play more like reds and stuff, but yeah, for the most part, I feel like this was pretty good. Also, reasoning why we're only playing two kiss a kill is because the better card to summon is Frost, so we want to see Lilla more, and we don't really need more normal summons. We only really want, like, this one, basically. Like, that's the normal summon we want most of the time. And it's not like we necessarily need more normal summons, because, like, Maxi can also pair with, like, sprites and stuff like that. So it never really felt like I needed more. It was more of a, uh, a, a caution to play the additional kiss a kill um, So that's pretty much it. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys did indeed enjoy it. If you did, I'd like it very much. I so appreciate it. And remember to always stay frosty. Bye-bye.
Shout out to the Frost Guard, my members. Thank you guys so much for the support, and I hope you enjoy the content.